Let's talk a little about your own video gaming background. Go way back to the day. What memories do you have? Oh, you know, my fondest memory up until now of uh, being part of a video game was, uh, I believe when the game in 2000 came out, it was a pretty central part of the game. Although, oddly, not as big a part of that game as I am of this uh, current WWE 13 uh, game, which is beyond cool. At, the, at that time, I would uh, insist that my children be Mick Foley, and then I would... I would just put that, uh, that toggle switch to forward at a slow speed. I would walk into a variety of offense. And so I actually, I never lost when I was being played as Mick Foley or Mankind by my kids. So uh, that, and I'll do the same thing. I have younger kids now. They will unknowingly be dad as one of the three characters and I will be undefeated as long as I'm playing against me, if that makes any sense. When you were a kid, do you remember playing at the arcades or any of those memories? Oh, man, you're, you're not going to bring me back to Pong, are you? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember a friend of mine had Atari and just sitting for hours with that little ball go boop, boop, boop. And then I became a uh, uh, Miss Pac-Man fan. And honestly, I'm not much of a gamer, although uh, I, uh, my mom did walk in on me. <laughs> when I was playing Mattel electronic football without my clothes on. So uh, that, was, that was not a good moment in my life. Uh, nobody's gonna walk. I'll make sure if I'm playing this game that I am dressed appropriately. We're not gonna go into what, uh, the Mattel story there, but, but what are your... Th Too soon, it still stings. Still stay. every time I hear the... Every time, every time, there's a song... Uh, no, nah, it, it has that noise in it, the, the Mattel electronic football, and it still brings up that, uh, that memory. It's terrible. What are your thoughts about how far video games have come since those days? Uh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know how they recreate it. Every year they manage to top themselves. Yeah, I remember driving in 1996 when I just joined WWE, and uh, a wrestler named Vader was showing me the graphics of the game that was out then. I just missed the deadline to be part of uh, that game, and I was so envious. Although, it, you know, it looks like Mickey Rourke and the wrestler playing that game where he's a little guy just moving very awkwardly, uh, no realism whatsoever, but that was light years ahead of Pong. So I don't know how they do it. It's amazing. I don't understand the technology. Uh, I'm just fortunate to be a beneficiary of the technology. What are your thoughts about how you look in this new WWE 13 game? Oh, man, I look good. Uh, I don't look... Uh, I'm not, uh, the musculature is not exaggerated. They slim me down just enough to where I still look dangerous. Uh, I love it. When I, when I, saw, when I saw the graphic uh, four or five months ago, I was uh, floored by, uh, not literally, I didn't drop to the floor, but I was very impressed by how good it looked. And as the game, you know, progressed, and as the promotion of the game progressed, and I realized that I was a bigger and bigger part of it, I became more and more excited. What was it like going back in and doing the voice work and reliving some of those moments? Uh, it was one of the most fun things I've done. Uh, there's a, uh, a great moment, and I'm pleased that they're going with great moments and not just great matches, because some the, sometimes those get excluded. Uh, for example, I get to recreate the night uh, that uh, uh, Cactus Jack made his WWE debut in Madison, at Madison Square Garden in 1997 by way of an interview that uh, Dude Love did with Mankind. And people at home, Dude Love Mankind, they're the same guy. It was a green screen, a lot of patience, uh, a great director, and when we went on the air at the Garden, it looked to people there that Dude Love was interviewing Mankind to introduce Cactus Jack. It was just great, and then Cactus Jack went and tore it down with Triple H at the Garden. Uh, so 15 years after the fact, to be able to recreate that was, uh, very, uh, it was fun and gratifying.